Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. <laughs> yeah, it's me, Dr. Woodstock Behavens, back aboard the love sub. Hey, stay right there. I'll come down and hang out with you. Whoa. Where'd you go, dudes? Oh, there you are. <laughs> it's so cool to be back on board the love sub. I've been traveling through time, all through history, meeting with these groovy prophets. And guess what? I think I found a new best friend. Yeah, his name is Jeremiah. Have you heard of him? He's a prophet and a really groovy dude. He's... Dudes, we're getting a visitor. Time travel alert. I love that people we drop in all the time. <laughs> in three, two, one. Oh, that <laughs> is one righteous ride. Jerry! Jellyfish. Uh, uh, give me a hug. Uh, bigger, bigger jellyfish. jellyfish. <laughs> Come on, for real, dude. Oh, uh, Jerry. Hey, kids, this is Jerry. I mean, Jeremiah, uh, the prophet I was telling you about. Dude, I really missed you, man. Uh, I missed you, too. Oh, uh, uh, here. I brought you something. A present for me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> Play-Doh! <laughs> hey, kids, Jeremiah's really into pottery. Yeah. Hey, tell him how you got started. I'll do you one better. I'll show him. You have uh, a Bible? Do we have a Bible? Yeah, where do we keep the Bible, kids? Uh, In the portal? Uh, 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 yeah, right here. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Not that one. Uh, it must be on this side. All right. Oh, here, let me put this down for a second. Right. Oh, uh. let's see. Oh, man, Jeremiah, this is all about you. It says, God told Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. That's right. When I got there, God said, like clay in the hands of a potter, so are you in my hand, a house of Israel. Wow, dude, did you hear that? Think about that. How many of you guys feel like clay? Uh, well, I don't think I was trying to say that we are clay. I think it's trying to show us a picture of the beautiful relationship that we have with God. <laughs> oh, that gives me an idea, man. Maybe one of you dudes can help us paint that picture. Uh, Who's good at making stuff out of clay? Oh, well, yeah, are you good at it? Come on up here, dude. Yeah, come right over come here. Come on up. Yeah, awesome. Oh, I got a seat for you. Uh, okay, yeah. All Great. right, now you sit right here and you're trying to make something wise and useful out of this Play-Doh. All right, take it. Uh, Jerry, Jerry, uh, these kids are kids. They're not like professional pottery makers. Oh, I don't think God expects perfection from uh. us. I think he just expects us to do our best. You know, God called on me when I was just a little lad. Really? Oh, really? And I was saying to myself, well, what can I do? I'm just a little kid. But the Lord said to me, don't say that you're just a child. For you must go to everywhere that I send you and say whatever I command you. Whoa. Oh, is that the lunch bell? <laughs> oh, no, dude. Those are the warning lights I told you about. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's a great reminder because that's God's warning. Go where I send you and I will use you. 
Okay, now raise your hand, you kids, if you think that God can even use kids your age. Yeah? Oh. Awesome. You know, it's true. Hey, hey, can anybody give me some examples from the Bible of kids that God used? Yeah. We know that Jesus died on the cross, but people in the Bible that were just kids. Yeah. He used Daniel to fight Goliath. Oh, David. David yeah, David to fight Goliath. Yeah. yeah. Who? That's what you were going to say? Anybody else? Yes. The first two people? Yeah, right. they had two little Adam kids, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. How about point. Samuel? You ever hear of Samuel? He was just a young boy when God called him. Yeah, Mr. Brian. There you go. There was a little kid that provided uh, uh, five loaves and two fishes. That's right. And God used, see, those are great examples. You see, God well, can use anybody. Yeah, when God calls on you, you should always say, yes, Lord. And no matter how young or old you are, the Lord will show you the way and help you make the right choices. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what I say now? You gave us the choice, dude. Oh. You seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Oh, I didn't give you that choice. That's the great choice that God gives each and every one of us. Mm. If we seek him with all our heart, God will always be there for us. <laughs> well, dude, it sounds like God wants us to be really close with him. Oh, yeah. God said that we should be as close to him as a belt is around your waist. Wow, that is super close. And when you're close with God, you can trust his plan for your life. Oh, yeah. Oh. Search for the promise. Oh. You gotta get your periscope. It kinda looks what? like this. Yeah, you All just right. gotta search around. And oh, we'll it find. totally helps. Oh, there, oh, it, there is. it is. I remember this verse. Dudes, I memorized this verse when I was just your age. Wow. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Oh. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Oh, wow, do you see that? That's God's promise. He promises to have a plan for your life and to listen to you, just like he did for me from the time when I was a little dude. Oh, speaking of young dudes, we should check on our potter, see how he's oh. coming along. Oh. That. Look at that. You made a cross. That is useful and very nice. Very wise. Good job. Let's have a man. big round of applause for our friend. Oh, good job. I'll take that Thank you, buddy. Benjamin. You can Thank have a you, seat. Benjamin. Wow. Excellent. Benjamin made something totally useful and wise. You know, Benjamin, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold on to this to remind me about God's message about the pottery, that each and every piece of pottery has a purpose, just like each and every one of your lives has a purpose. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, Jerry? That Play-Doh didn't just mold itself into the shape of a cross. No, you're totally right, Woody. It needed a potter to shape it. Ah. And we're like the Play-Doh, and God is like the potter. Mm. And he shapes us into what he sees as best. Now, sometimes I try to shape my own life into what I think is best, and you know what? It seems like I always ruin everything. Uh, well, sometimes we feel like that, but when that happens, God doesn't just toss us away like ruined pottery, does he? No. In fact, God molds us into something useful, whatever he sees best. That's totally <laughs> right, man. Well, yeah. I guess my time's up here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? God does have a plan for our life. And if we put our trust in God, he'll never steer us wrong. <laughs> That's totally right. Hey, Jeremiah, would you pray for me that, that, and ask God to shape my life the way he wants it? My friend, it would be my honor. <laughs> okay, dudes, we're going to go and ask God as our potter to help me shape up. <laughs> and you can ask God to shape your lives. And I know whatever he shapes you into, it'll be something good. Because God always knows what's right. That's right. So until next time, kids, remember, no matter where, where you, you are in time, God, God is good, good all the time. time. Right, Peace. Peace. <laughs>